Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to show you my misting system, talk about humidity a little bit. I hung this thermometer outside here. It is says it's 40% humidity outside and 84.6 degrees. And, oh, and the humidity just went down to 39%. But I, what I wanted to show you was the inside here. Now I've left all the fans on, so it's gonna be a little bit noisy for us. And be prepared because it's actually going to get noisier because I'm going to kick on the, the humidity system. I have a misting system above us and a fogger below us. And what a lot of people don't realize about humidity, there it goes here for just a short time. Just to give you a sort of a taste of what it's going to be like. What people don't realize about humidity is that, especially in a greenhouse or a closed environment, as the temperature rises, the humidity is going to drop. So the fact that it's 40% outside right now means any air coming in is going to be a very low humidity. There we go, it just went for a little bit there. That's how it maintains humidity, it just comes on and off as it needs to, as the temperature fluctuates in here. So the air conditioner which is running right now also drops your humidity. That's part of my cooling system. So it's running currently. If it gets too warm, the fans up here actually start to kick hot air out as well and bring in some of the cold or the drier air from outside. So I like to run this guy very, very humid. A lot of my plants like it very nice and humid. The hydrofogger there is um, a great addition. Nothing really beats the misting system. I love it. Um, this is sort of a modified do-it-yourself orbits misting system. I changed out the nozzle heads so they're a 0 0.008 orifice I believe or 0.2 gallons per hour from the standard 0.5 gallons per hour makes it just a finer hole and finer mist comes out of it the other thing I did and it's buried down here way down you can see that tan box down there that is the medium pressure pump so it takes my hose pressure and takes it from about 45 psi and boosts it up to 160 psi which the higher the PSI, the finer the mist will become. So why don't we turn it on and have a look at see how it works. Uh, all the plants are going to really love it. <clears throat> what I did just before filming was I turned the humidity down a little bit. Normally I run it on this gauge here and it says it's currently at 78% because it just came on. I had it set to 75 just to lower it. Normally, I have this set to 95, so we're just going to raise it up to 95. And it will catch up with itself in a second and turn on in just a second. So, you'd be surprised how often it actually kicks on to maintain humidity, especially when I am running at 95%, which is the normal. And it, it kicks on and off every 10 minutes or so for a minute or two. This is going to be a big jump for it because it's going to have to raise it up nearly 20% humidity in here, which is going to, uh, it's hard to do. It's hard to get that last little bit. In the meantime, I'll show you a few Nepenthes that really love the humidity. My little Edward Sianas here are doing quite well. This picture just popped. It looks like it's going to open to a bigger picture than that one. You can see a few little teeth coming on these guys. Another Edward Sianna there. This is my Raja almost four inches across. I see its first pellated leaf there or the tendrils coming out below the leaf. That's kind of cool as well. A little moluensis. What else do we have back here? My Attenbury eyes. There's one there and one here. The, the pictures actually look a little different on them. On each one I mean. My little Nigra Paloanensis is back there. Jamban. Glabrata. Diatis here. He has a spider living in his pitcher. I'll clear the web out and the spider is in there right now and he'll just make the new web again. He wants to make sure he catches anything before um, the plant does. But anyways, these are just a few of the plants that I have that really love the high humidity. Here is a macrophylla just popped again. Nice little picture over on this side. Could have Pangeae up there. Lowy eyes gaining a bit of size to them. A bit out of focus there. Sorry about that. There we go. So yeah, they're gaining. Alright, so the humidity is just kicked on. 
the device here is down to 76 percent but we're gonna watch it kind of rise up the mist is nice it's, it's nice cooling mist it doesn't really get you wet it's coming right down on the camera and it would take a while for the camera to really get wet here but between the fogger itself down there putting ultra ultra fine fog into the environment and the misting system itself raining down some some fairly fine mist as well it does a great job at keeping up the humidity in here there I just turned off the big fan that's down here it'll give you a, a little bit more of the fog and show you what it actually does so if we look up here you can see the individual heads misting there's ten heads in here and of course the fogger itself so all of these plants love the extra humidity it's wonderful coming in here on a hot day when it's dry outside and there's lots of humidity in here really really nice you can see now that it's up to 84 percent and it's going to be a little bit harder to um, get up there because it does rely a little bit the sensor on the fans pushing it all around so it'll take a little bit longer than normal to to reach it up here all the mastavalias are down there in the mist some of the nepenthes get direct misting same with the helis the heliophoras they love the mist and it just feels so much cooler in here right now what does it actually say on my pen here it says it is well the pen is sitting in the sun it says it's 89 degrees on that but Right now it is 82 in here, or 28.2 Celsius, and now 88% humidity. And when the big fan is down here on the ground that faces right at the, the floor and at the fogger down here, the humidity boosts even faster. I'm just sort of leaving this on to get the air a little bit more misty, because it is hard to see on camera. Most of the plants are situated so they don't get too wet. It takes a lot before they start dripping. I see that mister there is getting these two plants a little bit wet, but that's okay. They're not getting waterlogged or anything. All these plants that we first looked at, they're just getting little tiny beads of water on them. And remember, we're actually kicking it up 20% humidity in here right now. Normally when it's set to 95, it only goes down to 93 before it kicks back on, and it only runs for a few minutes. So this is an extended running period than what these plants normally would see to keep the humidity up nice and high. But the idea between of the misting system is to keep things relatively dry, but nice and humid. So between the two of them, it is definitely working. You can see how it's getting a little bit foggier in here now. And if we look back over, 94% humidity. So it raises it up very, very quickly. And probably within the next minute or so, the fogger is going to kick off. There we go. And the fogger has kicked off. It's funny how it looks on camera. The fan blade spins them differently. So there we go. That is a misting system and how it works. I absolutely love it. The combination of the fogger and the overhead misting I find is key. The floor gets a little bit wet when it has to run for and you bring it up 20 points without the fan on the fan is great at drying it but it's not puddles it's just a little bit wet just adding to the humidity in here you can see the plants down here the massive aliens are just slightly damp from that run Lycastes are really quite dry still plants over here are really quite dry the key is we want the air humid without these plants always dripping wet and that's what this sort of just achieves now I would love to have a higher pressure misting system where the mist comes out even finer, but that's not going to happen for now. So I'm pretty happy with the medium pressure system. And yeah, humidity is very, very important. It is great. I have no struggles this year. No matter how hot it is, no matter how hard the air conditioner works, the humidity just sort of stays where it needs to be. Hoyas are loving it. Most of the Hoyas have now rooted they are up here lots of different Hoyas they're actually even starting to get their own little leaves on them now check this out see we got little leaves coming 
So those are all new little leaves. Well, that one's not new, but the other side is new. And stuff is really growing, really loving the humidity as well. Orchids being epiphytes, really love the humidity. The roots are allowed to grow, which is crazy. And yeah, so that is a look at my misting system and a few cool nepenthes and other plants in the greenhouse. I hope you liked this video. I hope it wasn't too loud with the air conditioner and the fogger and everything on. But if you want to see more videos like this, more updates on the greenhouse, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.